Listen up, everyone. The Baron is about to speak. Listen up, everyone. The Baron is speaking. We're going to have a grown-up conversation here, gentlemen. So move your tribals away from the radio. That's good. It has come to my attention that Shelby told people that I should not have burned 20. But that 20 was an okay guy. And I overreacted over some stupid shit we invented for the tribal. For years if he got trapped within the slave side and took a leak into the holy flame. Well, I have just put Shell Game down. Nothing could be done about that. Those of you who he owed can get remuneration from his wife. <laughs> She's worth it. So, to avoid further incidents like this, I gotta tell you people something here. Especially the new ones. Tell me, why do the tribals obey us? Is it because they fear us? It partly is. But fear before man is not absolute. When your life is so shitty you've got nothing to lose, you start having rebellious thoughts, even if you are the lowest of the tribals. And can we have that, gentlemen? No. We cannot have that. That is exactly why tribals must have faith. Faith in the supreme forces, making the world what it is, making a master a master, and a slave a slave. Not a man with a gun. The desert, the universe itself has created this world order and guards it. Power that is supported by bayonets, and bayonets only, will inevitably end up on the same bayonets. But the power supported by bayonets and faith is eternal. This is what you have to always keep in mind, gentlemen. Why, I always say, if you see a slave that does not worship the Holy Flame, kill him. It is a loss, but it will undoubtedly pay off. Remember, this is what the Holy Flame wants, what the universe wants. And I want to make sure that we have no more misunderstandings concerning this. As you were, everyone, the Baron has spoken.